morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Valwood football game. We're over here at Thomasville playing uh, Brookwood Academy. The two, two players that you see on the field are Anthony James and Don, Don Faircloth, the co-captains for, for tonight's game. We have got uh, approximately about five minutes before game time, and the Valwood football team follow, uh, headed by Coach Ford is now about to enter the, enter the field over here at Brookwood. Valwood won the first, their first game this, this year, beating a, a uh, Fullington football team 51 to nothing. Uh, the Valwood basically just outmanned their, their opponents, and uh, uh, Maury Copeland ran eight times for 250 yards. This will be Valwood's first, first game over here at Brookwood. We really don't know a whole lot what to expect. We do know that Brookwood is a fine, has got a fine football team. Uh, we're right now we're out looking at the toss of the coin, which will be momentarily. You can just wave your hand. The referee right now is discussing situations with the Valwood captains and the Brookwood captains. Uh, this game should be underway momentarily. The uh, Valwood rooters over here is, are forming a spirit line over to our right. Uh, and the Valwood team should, should enter the field in a matter of moments. Go ahead. Just show it. This is a very important game for Valwood, even though it's not going to count in the a SEAIS Class A rankings. It won't count for either school since the fact that Brookwood is double A and Valwood is single A, but uh, we expect this to be a fine football game. It looks like Brookwood uh, apparently won the toss and, uh, and elected to take their decision the second half. Valwood will receive. Here come the Valiants. Here come the Valwood Valiants. White and maroon van with the lights on from, uh, with a uh, Lowndes County tag. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you... Moments before the Valwood-Brookwood game, uh, I think the big question will be is whether or not the Brookwood defense can stop Maury Copeland. Uh, his his great running ability and also the quarterbacking of, of Rusty Byington. Uh, these these two factors are going to contribute greatly to Valwood's success tonight. Maury Copeland back to receive the kickoff along with Don Faircloth and uh, uh, Jeff Hall. Kicking off for Brookwood's number ten, Tom Johnson. Number 10, Tom Johnson, kicking off for Brookwood. Number 41, Mari Copeland, is in the backfield for Valwood. Kick goes to Jeff Hall. He's down at 20, 25, gets cut down around the 29-yard line. First and 10 for Valwood from the, uh, their own 29-yard line. Yeah, go ahead. Jack Broomberg in, in with a play. This will be Valwood's first play from the line of scrimmage. Rusty Byington is your quarterback with Maury Copeland and uh, 
Don Faircloth in the backfield. Hand off to Faircloth. He looks like he got back to the line of scrimmage, but uh, he was basically nailed right at the line of scrimmage. Don Faircloth carries the ball. Second down for the for the Valiants in uh, about a yard loss. It's second down and a short 11 from the looks like about the 28 and a half yard line. Rusty Byington's your quarterback. Pitch back to Maury Copeland. Good block over there by Jeff Hall as Copeland skirts around the end and picks up about uh, looks like about eight yards, eight nine yards. Beautiful block by Jeff Hall over there. It looked like it was on the, the, the defensive end or one of the defensive backs. I couldn't really tell. But it is third down and uh, looks like about, about a long, long three yards to go for the Valiants. Six yard line. Four yards for a first down. Byington hands off to uh, Copeland. He breaks away. And he does pick up a first down. He's over there. He's close to a first down. I believe he got it. Over there just across the 40-yard line. He was stopped momentarily in the backfield and managed to break away going around the right end. They did get a first down. First down, first and 10 for Valwood from the about the 41-yard line. Rusty Byington brings the Valiants out. Split backfield with uh, Maury Copeland in, in the running back position. Hand off to Don Faircloth. Faircloth picks up about, looks like about six yards, down to uh, approximately, it looks like about the 46, 47 yard line. Faircloth on carry. Number 12, Todd Easton on the tackle. Number 21 for, for seven yard Brookwood game. Easton on the tackle. Looks like there might be a flag on the play. We're uh, it, it definitely does look like it, and it looks like the Valiants are retreating, so this could be a penalty against Valwood. The Brookwood captain, number 12, Todd Eason, uh, has accepted the penalty. Looks like a clip. It's going to be about a 15-yarder. Clipping on Valwood. First and 25 for Valwood on the about the Valwood 24 yard line. Rusty Bryington is a quarterback. Copeland in motion to the left. Byington back to pass. And it is over over the head of Jack Broomberg and everybody else. It'll be second down and 25 for Valwood at the Valwood 23, 23, 23 and a half. Byington really reared back and threw that one. Uh, Broomberg just just couldn't catch up with it. It is uh, second down. Second down and 25 for the Valiants. Hand off to Don Faircloth. Don picks up about two yards. Uh, looked like it was off tackle play. Number 54, Howard Varnado on the tackle. Uh, uh, Varnado for Brookwood was on the tackle. It's now third down and looks like third about 24. about 24, 23 and a half yards to go. This may be uh, Dipsy Doodle here. We may have to see what uh, Coach Fort's got in his bag of tricks right here. This pitch back to Copeland. He reverses his field. And he's going to be tackled for a loss of about two, two three four, yards. It's going to be fourth down for Valwood and uh, looks like about uh, 26, 27 yards to go. Fourth down, 28 yards to go. Rusty Byington back to punt. 
uh, Kevin Vick and Todd Eason back to receive for Brookwood. Byington punts it. It's a, a low punt. It gets a Valwood roll. Comes down to around the 41-yard line. Down there by Bucky Davis. The first and 10 for uh, Brookwood. 9.45 left to go in the first quarter. It looked like Valwood had started to move the ball, and that clipping penalty just really put them back. So we'll just have to see what this defensive unit can do with a strong Brookwood team. It's first and 10. They're in a wishbone formation. Your quarterback is number 24, uh, Matson Dunaway. He hands, hands the ball off. Number two, Lou Carvel McCary. To Carvel, and uh, they were tackled by a host of Valiants. There was a flag on the play. Let's see what the penalty is going to be. They are calling the Brookwood captain. Face mask penalty against Bowwood. First and 10 on Valwood's 45-yard line. Face mask penalty moves the ball back to the, looks like Valwood 45. It's going to be first and 10 for Brookwood from there. Number 24, Madison Dunaway, a quarterback. Pitch back to number 12, and boy, he gets nailed back there by Jeff Hall. That's a five-yard loss. Looks like, like Jeff may have gotten the wind knocked out of him. They lost about five yards. Number 20, Jeff Hall for Bowwood. Certainly was hurt on that play. I hope not seriously. Uh, I think we'll be seeing Jeff back in. It is now second down and 15, long 15. It's a draw play. Number 23, Kevin Vick on the... Karen. to number 23 for Brookwood. That's uh, Kel Kevin Vick. He picked up about 10 yards on that, so it's going to leave third and five for Getting Brookwood. 11 yards, be third down and five yards to go with the ball on the 40-yard line. This is, this is a, a big play right here for Valwood. Let's see if they can hold him. Pitch back to number 23, number which 23, is Vic. Vic on the carry. He skirted around the left end and went down to about the Valwood 15. Looked like he picked up about, uh, about 20 yards. It's now, right now uh, second down and 15 yards to go. That was a loss of five. Second down and 15 for Brookwood. Quarterback is Dunaway. Quarterback is back to pass. Batted away, batted away by uh, Stacy Brogdon. Stacy Brogdon knocks that one away. Good play, Stacy. Third down and 15-yard line. Third down and 15 on the 20-yard line for Brookwood. You know it's going to be a pass, but you got to watch out for that draw play too. Dunaway is your quarterback. He's got an eye formation. Quarterback fakes it to the fullback coming through and is throwing. And it, and it is complete for a touchdown to number 81. Russell Brown. Number Bloomberg 
Hogg was on, was defending on that, but just a little bit, a little bit from, from intercepting that pass. Brookwood leads six nothing. Kick is good. Score is Brookwood seven, Valwood nothing. That would be number 41, Maury Copeland. Back at, at Brookwood Field, uh, Brookwood's ahead seven to nothing over, over Valwood team and they're ready to kick off. Maury Copeland is deep. The ball is going back to Copeland. He's back at the goal line, back to the 10, 15, 20. There he goes, there goes Copeland. He's gone, he's gone. Nobody's gonna catch him. That's a 100-yard touchdown run for Maury Copeland all the way, all the way. Touchdown, Valwood. Boy, that puts Valwood right back in it. These Brookwood fans are getting a dose of a kid that's got a chance to make it in major college. I'll tell you one thing, that's, that was a phenomenal run. 7-6 with the point after touchdown coming. Todd Peterson will be attempting the extra point. Don Faircloth holding. Kicking for Val would be number 31, Todd Peterson. Kick. Ah, it hit the upright and bounced, bounced back. Kick is not good. Seven to six. Score seven to six. Brookwood. Back here at uh, Brookwood Field, where Maury Copeland has just electrified these fans with a hundred yard. It was close to a hundred yards. I tell you, I was watching back there, and I think his foot hit the goal line. So I, that's there's a hundred yard touchdown run on that kickoff. Kicking for Brookwood is number 22. Jack Broomberg. Broomberg just kicked off in uh, number 23 for Brookwood. Kevin Vick ran the ball back to, looks like about the 33 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for Brookwood from the 33. They, they are running out of the wishbone uh, with, with some deviations. Number 24 is uh, Matson Dunaway, the quarterback. Dunaway is a junior uh, listed at 150. Carrying the ball is Luke Carver. Looked like the running back uh, Carver got about two yards on that play, a boat ride in on the stop. It's second down and eight yards to go for Brookwood. Brookwood sustained a long drive against Val Wood only to have that erased second by an electrifying run by Maury Copeland. Line. It's second down and eight now for Brookwood. Quarterback is back to pass. Brogdon got him and also Boatwright and Xander Dees in on the stop also. By looks Bay like uh, he may, looks like he lost a few yards. There is a timeout on the field. Uh, officials timeout. So so with timeout in five minutes and 39 seconds into this first quarter, the score is Brookwood seven, Valwood six. Back at Brookwood Field. Timeout's over. It's going to be third down and ten. That was a loss of two yards. Quarterback goes back and sprints out, and he's close to a first down. Looks like he got it. Looks like he got it. Uh, Jeff Hall on the tackle. It uh, looks like he's, he's got enough for a first down, and the official is signaling first down. So that's another first down for Brookwood. Valwood's going to have to come in here and stop this, this drive. Uh, the, the defense has been on the field more than the offense in this quarter, and I'm sure they're getting a little tired. Come on, let's get them, defense. Uh, Donovan, 
was out number 12, Todd Eason. Number 12 carried that ball, Eason. Looks like he uh, skirted off and was hit by a Valwood player. I couldn't pick it up, and then all of a sudden he, he broke that tackle and rambled down to about the Valwood 32. Number 11, Don Fairclough. First and ten for Brookwood on the about the about the 33 yard line. Let's stop them, boys. Come on, let's dig in. Quarterback, no, nah, he handed it off. It was a good fake. It even faked me out. Uh, gave that ball number to two, number two. Carvin carried the ball for a couple yards. Uh, Matter of fact, about four yards. Second down and uh, about six. A gain of four yards, be second down and six to go. Ball's on the 28 yard line. Ball's on the 28 of Val Wood. Back in that wishbone formation. Ball is pitched back to number, number 12. 12 Todd and ball. Jeff Hall tripped him up. Looked like he may have picked up uh, about three or four yards. Tackle by number 20, Jeff Hall. It'll be about uh, third and uh, short three from the Valwood 25. A gain of four yards, be second down. Valwood timeout. Timeout with a score, third down Brookwood seven, seven, Valwood six. The uh, Brookwood field. George Limbacher with Charlie Sullivan on camera. Score is uh, Brookwood seven, Valwood six. Uh, Brookwood has driven the ball down from uh, approximately their 35 yard line and uh, with very little resistance. We're hoping that Valwood can come in and stop him now. It's third down and two. The ball's on the 25. Quarterback hands off to number 23. Number 23, Kevin Vick he on continues the ball. To go. He's the down ball. about the four yard line. That was uh, Kevin tackle Vick. Number 22, Jack Broomberg. Broomberg on the tackle. Number 54, Terrence Thomas line. into the ball First game. Double, uh, replacing. Bernie Rattler. First and five, and he's down there close. Looks like he's down there close to the goal line. Come on, boys. Got to dig in on it. Now he's in for a touchdown. Kevin Vick gets a touchdown for Brookwood. Score is Brookwood 13, Valwood 6. This may be an offensive scoring game here the way things are looking right now unless somebody can tighten up uh, defensively. Brookwood is apparently going for one. Number 10, Tom Johnson trying for the extra point. Frankie Powell and holding. Kick is good, just barely made it. Boy, that was about the one of the lowest kicks I've ever seen and it just barely made it through. But there was a flag on the play. Flag on the play. Let's see what the call is. Appears that uh, Valwood was, was offside. We'll see, we'll have to see what, uh, what the call is. Apparently the score is gonna stick. Uh, Brookwood 14, Valwood 6. Uh, Valwood apparently was offside. Kick is good. Penalty is declined. With 2.56 left on the clock in the first quarter, it's Brookwood 14, Valwood 6. Side must have been assessed on the kickoff because there, Brookwood is kicking off from the 45. Maury Copeland is back deep. Uh, Jeff Hall and Don Faircloth are your are, are also your your back men. I would suppose that, that the kickoff probably will not be going to Copeland. I think Brookwood's probably learned its lesson after that last return. 
It is a squib kick, and it is over the head of Faircloth. It's picked up by Copeland. Let's see what he does. There he is. He gets back to the 30, about a 20-yard return. It'll be first and 10 from Valwood from the 30-yard line. Frankie Pollen. This will be the second time Valwood has actually offensively moved this football. Uh, they bogged down after their first series of plays, and then Copeland came on and, and returned a, a kickoff 100 yards. So this is actually the second time that Valwood has come out in, uh, offensively with the ball. Rusty Byington is your quarterback. Byington back to pass. And the pass is intercepted by number 10, Tom Johnson. First and 10 for Brookwood on about their 31 yard line. And this brings back a tired Valwood defense. We need to keep these boys off the field. We've got 2.15 still on the clock in the first quarter. Valwood's gonna have to find a way to stop this wishbone offense. Ball was on the 32-yard line. Anthony James in there calling defensive signals. Number 64 over there is Mike Edwards. Looks like he's going to be one of the top performers over here at, on offense and defense for Valwood. Quarterback is back to pass. It hits uh, number 12 for a short pass, but Number turns into a large position. gain of about nine yards up to uh, around the 41, 42 yard line. It uh, looks closer to the 41, but the officials are gonna call timeout for a measurement. It doesn't look like, does not look like they've got it from here. Looks like they may be about a half a yard short. Number 50 for Valwood out there, Xander Dees, uh, 20, Jeff Hall, 64, Mike Edwards, 88, uh, Anthony James, number 40, Jamie McLean. Uh, a lot of new faces out there, but the coaches feel like these boys are really really into it and uh, are playing good good football even at this time of the season but uh, Brookwood is a is a tough challenge uh, for any basically any any opponent let alone a class A team it's going to be first second down in uh, about a half a yard quarterback pitches it back and boy he ran into a stone wall Stacy Brogdon and Anthony James slowed that play down, and I couldn't see exactly who stopped it, but uh, somebody got in there and dug in and, and knocked the running back back for about a three-yard loss. Shannon Houchins was in on that play. Good play, Shannon. It's going to be third down and uh, about three yards to go. Wishbone formation. Quarterback hands the ball off to number 23 and he is stopped he did not pick up the first down it's going to be third it's going to be fourth down and about a yard to go from the 40 looks like about the 43 yard line 42 and a half uh, it looks like there's a there's a possibility that Brookwood may punt but you you just never know Valwood is is dropping Copeland and Faircloth back but uh, it's, clo it's very close for a first down, and you're in a no man's land over here in this, in this territory, so you never know what, what Brookwood may do. Terrence Thomas is back in the game, and uh, low pass from center. The, the punt is away. It was actually a punt. The ball uh, is bouncing around the, it looks like about the 25-yard line, and uh, Copeland wisely, uh, along with Faircloth, just, they just let the ball be down. So it's going to be Valwood ball first and 25. Valwood did a fine job stopping the, the Brookwood ground game on that, that series of downs. Af after a gain of nine yards, Valwood came back and threw Brookwood for two straight losses. It's going to be first and, uh, first and 10 from the Valwood uh, 20, about the 27 now.
Byington is your quarterback. And time just ran out on them. That's the end of the first quarter with the score. Brookwood 14, Valwood 6. Brookwood Field, uh, score 14 to nothing. Brookwood leading George Limbacher and Charlie Sullivan. This has been a, to say the least, a very interesting game. Uh, Byington was just back to pass on that and uh, threw an incomplete. Uh, I believe Byington is yet to complete a, a pass. I don't have any st statistics up here and I'm not a statistician. And I do not have a statistician up here, except maybe my daughter. And she's not, she's not keeping too much on the stats. But anyway, second down and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. Hand off to Don Faircloth. Don breaks through for about six, Number seven yards. Uh, Tackled by Luke Harvard. Number two, Harvard on the stop for Brookwood. Be third down and four yards to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. Third and four for the Valiants. Come on, let's make this one, boys. On the 30 yard line. You got uh, split backfield. Copeland is your running back. Ball is handed off to Copeland, and he, he didn't make it. Matter of fact, he may have got he may have been thrown for a loss on that one. Uh, it's going to bring up a fourth down and looks like about uh, no gain. Tackle by number 54, Howard Bornado. Brings up a fourth down. Byington is back in punt formation. Uh, you've got number 23 and number 12, uh, Kevin Vick and Todd Eason back to receive for Brookwood. Byington back to punt. And it is, it, it is a fake punt. Fake punt. Copeland is, Copeland is going to make the first down. And more. And more. He's going all the way. Now they're calling it back. I thought they were. Uh, for, for an instant, I thought that the, that the umpire didn't know what he was doing. And I, I still believe that because he acted like he didn't know what was going on. And then all of a sudden, he walked down to one spot on the field and then walked back to another spot. Uh, Something's rotten in Denmark, folks. That was a, a very poor call on the on the part of the official. Uh, I still don't know what his problem was because he left the scene where he said Maury Copeland went out and walked down and then ended up coming all the way back and put no marker down whatsoever. It's going to be first and 10 for Valwood. Uh, they did pick up the first down on a fine run by Copeland. First and 10, Valiants on the Brookwood. It looks like about the 41-yard line. Brad Glosson is in, apparently with a play from Coach Schwartz. See what we can do now. We've got a little, a little life. First and 10. Paul Smith out here on a split out. Ball is handed off. No, I'm sorry. Byington, Byington kept the ball on that one. Picked up about five yards. Uh, let's call it a short five. Maybe even a long four. I mean, long six. Uh, my uh, comical sidekick over here has informed me that uh, that was a screw up on that play. <laughs> It is now second down and let's call it six. Hand off to Don Faircloth by Rusty Byington. Faircloth is around the end. He has a first down and more. And he is down to, it looks like the about the 44-yard line of Brookwood. Fine run by Don Faircloth. Johnson on the tackle for Brookwood. Uh, it's another first down for the Vance. And it looks like the uh, Valwood is now starting to roll. Shannon Houchins out there opening holes. Ball is placed on the 44 yard line to be first. Along down with Billy Boatwright. John Eldridge. First and 10 Valiants. Jeff Hall's in the backfield. And let's see. Uh, Byington straight ahead for about three or four yards. I did not see Maury Copen leave the game. I hope he's not injured. 
Uh, Jeff Hall is in the backfield right now. Number two, Lou Carver. Second down. Uh, Three to go. Charlie Sullivan just informed me that he may have been tired and just ran off the field. So it's going to be second down and uh, four yards to go for Valwood. Pitch back to Jeff Hall, and uh, Jeff slips in the backfield. Uh, loses about, looks like about a yard and a half, two yards. It's going to be third down and uh, looks like a short six from the 39-yard line. I've just been informed that it's the 38-yard line by my assistant. Byington back uh, hands the ball to Faircloth, and Faircloth gets pulled down by number 74 for the Brookwood uh, Warriors, uh, number 74, Lance Palmer. Number 74, Lance Palmer. It's now going to be fourth down and... Uh, about eight yards to go. The ball's resting on the 42-yard line. And we don't know if Valwood will go for it or not. It looks like they're going for it. Valwood calls timeout. Timeout with the score of Brookwood 14, Valwood 6. Yeah. And Charlie Sullivan. We are looking over at, at Paul Simmons, uh, probably one of the best defensive backs that's played at Valwood. Right now, uh, Paul is, is not playing, and I made a, a very poor error last week in saying that, that it was grades. And uh, from what I understand, and uh, if, if I'm not correct, somebody correct me, is that Paul missed one year. Either It was either due to injury or, or illness, and uh, it, it was a, apparently it was a spleen. And he did not play that year, and, and Valwood is desperately trying to get that year back for Paul. And we sure hope that he can because he will definitely be a factor in this, and also he he has a chance to play college football. Valwood is going for the first down. First, uh, fourth down and eight for Valwood. Byington back, pass. The ball is thrown and over everybody's head. Tended for Faircloth. Uh, take over the ball. Uh, Jeff Hall down there close to. Brookwood's going to take over on the 42. Brookwood at their own 40, about 41 and a half, 42 yard line. Uh, they're running out of the broken bone right now. Uh, hand off to number 22, who did not get very much. And it looked like he was tackled by number 50, Xander Dees. Uh, Number 64, Mike Edwards. Uh, uh, Mike Edwards uh, was in there also. It's hard to see from over here, especially when you don't have binoculars in, over your eyeballs. Uh, and me being as Second blind down. as a bat doesn't help either. Second down and uh, about, it looks like about 10. It looks like he, he gained very little, if, if anything. So it's going to be second and 10. They're back in the wishbone. Uh, pitch back here to number 23. Number 23. There is a flag on the play, and it looks like there was an infraction uh, by one of the Brookwood players, probably a hold or a clip. Tackle by number 21, Stacy Brogdon. Stacy Brogdon in on that tackle, and they are talking to Anthony James, the Valwood captain. They are pointing uh, back towards Brookwood. Brookwood is retreating. This could be a major penalty here. Number 51, Steve Gibson in. There is a clip. It's going to be, it's going to cost him 15 yards. against Brookwood. That's going to put the ball back to around the 27-yard line. Back to the 24-yard line. It's going to be uh, second down and 25 for Brookwood. Second down, 24 yards to go. Brookwood is in the broken bone formation. And they call a timeout. Timeout with 7.13 left on the clock. Brookwood still leads 14 to 6. Field. 
uh, where Brookwood leads Valiant, Valwood, Valiant's 14-6. Uh, I've been informed that Brookwood played last week uh, Georgia Military Academy and beat them 36-6. to six. So uh, Brookwood does have a game under their belt also. It's second down. The quarterback is back to pass it. It is a screen pass. Stacy Brogdon bro fighting off a block, and boy, did he make a great tackle. That's Stacy Brogdon over there. Fought off a block and, and made the tackle single-handedly. They picked up about, uh, looked like they picked up about six or seven yards. Maybe not even that much. It's going to be, it looks like about, uh, no, they only picked up about four yards. It looks like it's going to be third and 21. Ball is on the, about the 31 and a half, 32 yard line. In the second quarter, it's Central 20 and Thomasville 6. Brookwood in a wishbone formation. The quarterback gets sacked back there by Xander Dees, number 50. Good play, Xander. Carrying the ball, Madison Dunaway. It's going to be fourth down for Brookwood, and they've got about a mile to go. Maury Copeland and Don Faircloth check in to receive this, this punt. Be fourth down. Number 12, yards to go, on the Todd Eason, the punter for Brookwood. Low snap, but he gets he gets the kick away. Uh, return is on. Don Faircloth gets the ball, slipped, and it looked to me like there was a late hit down there on number 35. That uh, was pretty close. Faircloth was already down, and uh, that number 35 just bumped right into him. Going to be first and ten for Valwood. Uh, they've got good field position about the 46-yard line uh, of Valwood. We had a little technical problem here. <laughs> first and ten for the Valiants with uh, six minutes and six seconds left in the half. Valwood trailing 14 to six. Ball's given to Copeland and he breaks through for about nine yards. Going to be second down and one yard to go. Maury Copeland just Number eating up yards as every time he gets the ball. Tackle by number 54, Howard Barnado. Barnado on the stop for Brookwood. It looks like there is a timeout. Uh, I see the Valwood uh, managers coming in. And I to tell you one thing, they look a lot nicer than the Brookwood managers. Brookwood field with 5.43 to go in the half. Valwood second and one after a nine-yard Copeland run. Pass to number 25, Bucky Davis, and it was just broken up at the last second. Looked good. Looked, look, looked good until the last second, and it was broken up. It's going to be third down and about a yard to go. Third and one for, for the Valiants at the Brookwood 45-yard line. Hand off to Don Faircloth, and Don breaks through for the first down. It'll be first down and 10 for Valwood. Ball carried by number 11, Don Faircloth, tackled by several Brookwood players. Going to be first down for Valwood at the Brookwood, about the Brookwood 42-yard line. <coughs> Bucky Davis over to the near side. Jeff Hall to the far side as your, as your wide outs. Uh, ball is fake to Copeland and Rusty Byington went around the, the left end, picked up about, looked like about 10 yards down around the 30. It's going to be first and 10 for the, Val, for the Valiants uh, just inside the Brookwood 30. It looks like the Valiants are starting to mount a drive now. Balls on the 29 and yard line. it looks like the clock will be in their favor as there is approximately five minutes left to go in the half. 
Byington is a quarterback. First and 10, split backfield. Ball is given to Copeland. Copeland breaks tackles and gains about two yards. Easton on the stop. Assisted by number two, Lee Carver. Second down and looks like a long seven to go. Second down, foul on the 28 yard line. Eight Se yards to go. Second down. Looks like it's closer to the 27 than to the, the 28. But we'll give it, we'll give him credit. It's a uh, short eight yards. Pass to Faircloth and it looked like the ball was deflected. Byington's pass to Faircloth. Gonna be third down and eight. Number 99, Mark Rowland for Brookwood. Rowland on the deflection for Brookwood. be third down now with eight yards to go. Third and a short eight yards for Valwood at the Brookwood 27 yard line. Byington back to pass and it's it is caught it is caught. Number 25 Bucky Davis in on that reception and I have to admit that uh, Byington had a lot of pressure and was basically looked like he was about to be tackled and he, he let that, that pass go and Davis plucked it right out of the air. First and 10 for Valwood. It looks like the ball is just outside the 10 yard line. Or no, I stand corrected, it's right on the 10. First and goal. On the 10 yard line. Davis and Hall, you're, you're two wide receivers. The ball is overthrown to Jeff. It looked like it was going to be a screen to Jeff with uh, Davis blocking, clearing the way for him. The ball was just a little bit overthrown. It'll be second down and 10. Second and 10 for Valwood from the Brookwood 10 yard line. Split backfield, uh, Hall and Davis are both on the near side as wide receivers. And the pass is going uh, going to Jack Broomberg and it was overthrown. Be third down and 10 for the Valiants. Pass intended for number 22, Jack Broomberg. It's incomplete. Brad Glosson in with a third play from Coach Fort. And 10. Coach Fort and Coach Houchins are running the offense for Valwood. Third and ten. Byington back to pass. It's a screen pass to Faircloth. And he gets he gets knocked up against his own man and uh, gets taken down around that looks like about the nine yard line. It looked like something was going, but uh, both Don and whoever he ran into, I'm not sure who that was. John Eldridge, they looked like they both wanted to go the same way. But uh, you know, those, those mistakes happen, and uh, Coach Ford is now on the field uh, with it being fourth down and about eight yards to go. This could be one of Coach Ford's famous, famous dipsy doodle type, uh, you get them plays. I were just discussing the situation. Uh, I felt like uh, Val would ought to go ahead and go for the three points, but Charlie seemed to disagree with me, and we'll see basically what happens. Uh, Byington's your quarterback. Copeland is in motion. And Byington back to pass. And Byington is going to run it. He may make it. He may get in. No, he didn't. No, he's tackled down around the five yard line. The ball is going to go over to Brookwood. For a moment, I thought that, that Rusty Byington was going was to score. But uh, he didn't. The ball is going to go over to Brookwood. And number 10, Tom Jones. First and 10 for Brookwood from their own. Five yard line with uh, two two minutes fifty nine seconds left to go in the half. First and ten. First and ten. Number twenty four Dunaway is your quarterback for Brookwood. They come out in a wishbone 
And I think right now they're going to try to eat up as much of this clock as they can and try to get the ball out. Uh, handoff is to number two. And he looks like he picks up about five, six yards. He looks like he's past the, uh, he's about, about pa up close to the 10. Brogdon on the stop, uh, he picked up about, we'll give him about, give him a long four. It's gonna be second down and short six. Come on, Valiance, let's hold him here. Quarterback hands off to number 12. And he breaks through for a first down. He's down to around the, uh, the decent down to about the 22 yard line. Tackle by several Valwood players. Be first and 10. First and 10, Brookwood, with approximately two minutes left in the game. Oh, I mean, in the, in the half, line. in this half. Valwood is, is going to have to try to stop them if they can. And. Right now, number 23 breaks away and is tackled by number 80, Paul Smith, who saved the touchdown. Time is running out, and Valwood is going to have to to stop this late burst by Brookwood in order in order to take take this uh, 14 to six losing right now uh, in in to the dressing room. First and 10, quarterback is back to pass. And Paul Smith, it looks like he's gonna get, Paul Smith did intercept the ball. Good interception. It's gonna be first and 10 for Valwood now with 138 left on the clock and it is at the Valwood 18 yard line. Number 80, Chris Foreman. Now we need some, some lightning. That's what we need. Byington, your quarterback, checks in with uh, 1.30 left on the clock. It's first and 10 from the Valwood 18. So let's see if uh, Valwood is content to sit on it or if they're going to go for something. You've got uh, Hall and uh, your wide receivers. Byington is being stopped back around the 15. Uh, he could not find either Bucky Davis or Jeff Hall downfield. Number so it's going to be second down and looks like uh, about 18 from the Valwood 10. The second and 18. You got about 56 seconds left in the, Ball in the first the half. At Brookwood Field, Valwood's faced with a second down and 19 situation. George Limbacher, Charlie Sullivan, and Ed Sullivan here bringing you Valwood football. It's a handoff to, it looks like Copeland, but I'm not sure. I can't tell. I see his number, but it looks like Copeland, and he was stopped at the line of scrimmage for no game. Uh, it's going to be third down and about 19. Brookwood, Brookwood calls timeout. This ought to be just a short timeout long enough to stop the clock. Uh, apparently they think they're going to get the ball back. We'll have to, we'll have to see about that. Back at Brookwood Field with 46 seconds to go in the half. Valwood is faced with a third down and 20. Uh, Brookwood is trying to stop this clock so they can get a last crack at it. But Byington's quarterback, he is back to pass and rolls out, is tackled for basically no gain. You've got uh, 36, 35, 34 seconds left on the clock. Clock is stopped at 33 seconds. It'll be fourth down for Valwood. Byington will be your punter. The, the time is, is slipping around 25, 24, 23. And I think, I think Byington is going to let the clock run down as far as it can before he, he attempts this punt. Down to 14, 13, 12, 11. Inside 10 seconds, I think Valwood's going to go ahead and take, go ahead and take the five-yard penalty just to run the clock down. It's down to four seconds, and we've got four seconds left in this in this second quarter. Referee signals too much time, and we'll march the ball back five yards. It'll be fourth down and 25 for the Valiants from, from four-yard line. Five. 
Byington is now back under his, his own. And you've got two receivers back for Brookwood. Copeland gets the ball and looks like they got a safety. Copeland got the ball, tried to get around, and Brookwood knocked him back in for safety. As the half ends, Brookwood looks like he'll be ahead 16 to 6. That is the end of the half. Quarterback keeps the ball. Score Brookwood 16, Valwood 6. Valwood will be kicking off to Brookwood. Uh, start of the second half. Valwood losing on the losing end, 16 to 6. Uh, Jack Broomberg will be kicking off. Your receivers are number 81. And I don't have a name for number 81. Yes, I do. That's Russell Brown and number 23, Kevin Vick. Broomberg will be kicking off for Valwood. So we're going to get this second half underway right now. Broomberg kicking off. Goes down to Vick and he fumbles the ball. He fumbles the ball. And uh, it looks like another Brookwood player pounced on it, but uh, that ball was rolling around. Uh, apparently hit uh, hit Vic's leg and uh, bounced around. Number 35, yeah. Cullen Harvard. First, first and 10 for Brookwood at uh, their 26-yard line. First down and 10. Ball on the Number 24, Dunaway is your quarterback. They're in the wishbone. Full house backfield. Ball is handed off to number 23, and he breaks through. Broomberg didn't get him, but uh, Stacy Brogdon did. Otherwise, he was long gone. You, got, you boys got to stop that now. First and 10 on the Valwood 40. First and 10. Brookwood in a full house backfield. First and 10, ball's given to number two. Uh, he does not get, but maybe two yards. He's number two, Harvard. Tackle by several Valward players. Be second down, eight to go. Ball's on the 38. Second and, looks like second and a long eight. Full house backfield. Ball hands it off to number 12. The second man through. He is dragged down by two Valiants. Number 12, Todd Easton carries the ball. One of those players uh, looks like Jeff Hall. And there is a player hurt. That is uh, number 12, Easton. Right now, uh, we've got an injury timeout. Timeout with 10.29 on the clock. Number 12. Uh, Todd Eason uh, looks like he's got a knee injury. Uh, that's going to be a tough break for Brookwood because he was really running well. Uh, it doesn't look real good from here. It's going to be third down and about seven. About seven yards to go for Brookwood. What? It, any noises that you're hearing in the background is Charlie Sullivan trying to contact the sidelines. It is third down and six for Brookwood. Quarterback hands it off to, looks like number 30, who's just in the game. Uh, that is Richard Izzo, I-Z-Z-O. And uh, he gets the ball down to about the 30, 32-yard line, fourth and about two and a half. Fourth down, and I'm oh, sure they're going to go for it. Come on, Valiance, let's stop them. David Williams uh, 
sending in defensive signals from the sidelines. This is a fourth down play. Quarterback back, he's gonna throw it. And it is no good, it's out of bounds. Threw it out of bounds. The official ruled it out of bounds. It is first down and 10 for Valwood as the ball goes over. First and 10 for the Valiants. Boy, that, place was, that play was close, close fans. There was a uh, Valwood player who, who was all over the quarterback and basically forced that, that play to, to go sour. Uh, Ed Sullivan said he completely missed that play, so we apologize for any technical difficulties. It's first and 10 for the Valiants. Rusty Bindon brings him out. He's your quarterback. Maury Copeland, your running back. Ball is pitched to Copeland, and he's going around the left side with blocking, and he gets about uh, eight or nine yards, it looks like. About eight or nine yards for Maury Copeland. They're bringing the ball out to, it looks like about the 40, so uh, looks like uh, second and a long eight for Valwood. Byington is your quarterback. Second down, two yards to go, ball on the 40-yard line. Hall, your flanker to the near side, Davis to the far side. Ball is given off to Don Faircloth, and he gets nowhere. Nowhere. Matter fact, he barely made it back to the line of scrimmage. Number 11, Don Faircloth gonna, carries the ball. Going to be third down. Jack Broomberg brings in a play. Come on, boys. We need some blocking up front. It is third down and about two yards. Two yards for the Valiants. Bucky Davis to the near side, Jeff Hall to the far side, your flankers. Split backfield with Copeland in the running back. It is third down, and Byington sneaks it across for a first down, first and 10. Carries the ball. Yeah, talk to you or something, yeah. I don't know. Take it. It'll be first down and 10 to go. Ball on the 45. I think Alec has it. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Fine, goes back to pass. Bind incomplete. Pass incomplete. Intended for Jeff Hall, number 20. Who, who, who wants to talk to me? Who is it? I think it's Alec Thomas, I'm not sure. What, what do you want? I don't know. What do you all want over there? I'm trying to, to uh, broadcast the game. It'll be second and 10. Coach Hall. Where's Coach Hall? Byington back to pass again. He throws. It's incomplete, intended for Bucky Davis. Byington's pass incomplete. Intended for, intended for 25, Bucky Davis. It'll be third down and 10. Little more hands than he'd have had it. I can't hear you. You're playing around with the machine too much. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Start and 10. Finding pitches out to Mari Copeland. He cuts back. Number 41, he's, Murray Copeland. He's taken down for a loss of about six. It'll be fourth and 16. Tackled by number 54, Howard Barnett. I don't know. I, 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 I think it's a lost cause. Mm. Fourth down for Valwood with 7.07 left on the clock in the third number quarter. Of Byington back to punt. 
I think Brookwood believes that he's going to kick this time, and the punt is a fairly good punt. The uh, number 24 grabs the ball and gets up to about the 35. Dunaway was the one that received the ball, uh, tackled by a host of valiants. Ball located on the 34-yard line, first and 10. First and 10 for Brookwood on the about the 35-yard line. For what started out to be uh, an offensive show, things have kind of settled down into a defensive battle. Uh, the Val Valiants need to get this ball back and make some things happen soon. The ball is handed off to, uh, it's like Blue number 30, Bar tackled by yeah. James Brogdon and tackled by Jamie McQueen. Number four. Jamie McLean. It's going to be second down and eight. On the 36. Come on, defense. Second and eight for Brookwood. Full house backfield quarterback pitches it back. It's a fumble. It's a fumble, and Bellwood's got it there all over it. All over it. Let's see who got that ball. I can't. I, it's hard to tell from here, but it looked like it was, uh, could have been number 22. Uh, I'm not sure who, who it was. Could have been Jack Broomberg, but I'm not sure who it was. So whoever got that ball, uh, could have been Jeff Hall. Uh, it was just really hard to see from here. But anyway, we got the ball, and we're going for it now. Yeah, if you want to. And looks like uh, officials timeout, timeout uh, with 5.41 left on the clock. Uh, Brookwood 16, Valwood 6. Uh, almost back in. Valwood's got the ball on the Brookwood 38 yard line uh, after recovering a fumble it's first and ten for the Valiants trying to get something desperately put on this board uh, down by the score of 16 to 6 in the third quarter midway through the third quarter All right, the referee's got things going now. Starts the clock, it's first and 10, Valwood. Rusty Byington's your quarterback. Hands the ball to Maury Copeland. Copeland breaks through, he, he may go, he may go. It's, he's down to around the 21 yard line of Brookwood for about a 14, 15 yard gain. Tackle by number 81, Russell Brown. Tackled by Brown, it's down to about the 21, and Valwood looks like they are fired up now. First and 10, ball on the 23-yard line. First and 10 for Valwood on the Brookwood 23-yard line. 5, 25, 19, 5, 18 in the third quarter. Byington is your quarterback. Hands the ball off to Don Faircloth, and Don is smothered after about a yard gain, it looks like. He's going to be close to the line of scrimmage, or he, he may have gained one yard. going to be... Second down and a long nine. Jack Broomberg in the game with a play. Brookwood has been rather stingy down once you get in around their 20 yard line. And Valwood needs to put this thing in. Second down and uh, a long nine for the Valiants. Hand off to Copeland. He breaks through. Here he goes. He may go. He may go. He may go, and he's, he's dragged down by number 24, by number 24. down around the 11-yard uh, line, 11-12 yard line. Uh, it is close enough for a measurement. The referee calls time, and they're bringing the chain in. It is a 
first down for the Valiants. First and 10 at around the, about the 12. 12 yard line. First and 10 for Valwood. Davis and Hall, wide receivers on the near side. Copeland and Faircloth, your running backs. Byington, your quarterback. First and 10. Ball is handed off to Don Faircloth. Spins away from one, and he's running around the left end, and he picks up about Ball two yards. That was a good effort by Don, who was stopped right actually behind the line of scrimmage and, and was able to break a tackle and move out for a couple yards. It's going to be second down and uh, about eight yards to go for Valwood on the right around the, it looks like about the 11 yard line. Second down and eight ball on the 12 yard line. Paul on the near side, Davis on the far side. It's an end around to Jeff Hall. Jeff gets down to about the, down to around the eight, about the nine or eight yard line. It's hard to see from over here. There is a Brookwood player, looks like a Brookwood player, down number 63. It is, looks like about third down and a long four for the Valiants from the Brookwood. It looks like around the eight yard line. Third down and six, ball only eight. Third and four. Ball Rusty Bryington brings them out. Hall's on the near side, Davis on the far side. You're, you're wide out. Copeland is your tailback. It's pitched back to Maury Copeland. Copeland breaks through and has the first down and more down to around the, it looks like about the two yard line, two or three yard line. Uh, they had to get to about the two or three, it's hard to see from here, but it looks like he did get a first down. They are calling timeout and bringing the chains in. It looks like from here that uh, they did make a first down. There is a Brookwood player down on the field. And right now we're gonna take a timeout. Charlie Sullivan, I mean, Ed Sullivan, excuse me, says let's get the measurement. They got the first down. Mark Rowland is the injured player for Brookwood. Uh, we can't tell basically what type of injury he has. Uh, if, if, if this boy is hurt, this will be the second major injury for Brookwood. It doesn't look as, as uh, serious as that other injury, though. Uh, could have just gotten the wind knocked out of him. First and goal, Valwood from the Brookwood. It looks like around the two and a half, three yard line. I, it's it's hard, to, hard to tell from here. Byington goes in uh, close close to that goal line, down around the one yard line. He, he, he snuck it down, uh, going over center. Down close to the goal line. It looks like it's probably around the one. It's gonna be, uh, Jeff. looks like Jeff Hall is, uh, not, not Jeff Hall. Uh, Jack Broomberg was, was in, indicating it's less than a yard to go. Hall to the far side. Bucky Davis to the near side, the wide receivers. Pitch back to Copeland, and he's tackled for a loss. That play was slow in developing, and the Brookwood players just read it all the way. It's going to be third down. Third down for Valwood, and looks like uh, looks like about seven yards for a touchdown. Five yard loss on the play. It'll be third down and six yards to go. Come on, boys, we need this one. Davis on the far side, Hall on the near side. Your wide receivers. Copeland, your running back, along with Faircloth. Pass to Jeff Hall, and he's in for a touchdown. Touchdown, Valwood. Number 20, so, Jeff Hall. Pass, pass Bryan, was from Rusty Bryan, Byington to Jeff Hall. Valwood, 12, Brookwood, 16. 
Todd Peterson in, in for the point after touchdown. Now it shifts over. Looks like they are going for the one. Don Faircloth, your holder. Ball is down. The kick is up. The kick is good. Bowwood, Bowwood 13, Brookwood 16. Back at Brookwood, George Limbacher with Ed Sullivan and Charlie Sullivan bringing you the Valwood football game. Boy, and we have ourselves a football game. With 44 seconds left in the third quarter, Brookwood leads 16 to 13. Valwood kicking off. Jack Broomberg will kick this ball. Number 23 for Brookwood. And number 81 for number Brookwood. Uh, and number 23, Vic, number caught the ball, but he was on his knee. The ball uh, was caught around the 19-yard line, and that's where Brookwood will start. Come on, defense, let's hold him now. Number 24, Dunaway, is the quarterback. This has been a real hard-fought football game for, for both sides, and it's, it's so close right now. First and, first and 10, and the quarterback is going to get smothered, just smothered by, uh, looks like number 51. Steve Gibson on that play, number 51, and there was another, another player over there, and I couldn't get his number, but he did a good job too. It's uh, closer to a five-yard. Second down and about 15 for Brookwood. And that, my friends, is the end of the third quarter. At the end of the third quarter, Brookwood 16, Valwood 13. <laughs> Team 13, George Limbacher along with Charlie Sullivan and Ed Sullivan. It's second down, and the scoreboard says 13, but it looks more like about 14, 14 and a half. Quarterback hands off, and somebody got tackled. Uh, they sure faked me out, but they didn't fake out the Valwood defense. Uh, the quarterback looks like he is injured, uh, and uh, the run, whoever got that ball gained about a yard. We're going to take a timeout right now as the quarterback is down the field and also one of the linemen for Brookwood. Who, who, who are we talking to? Let's look at the situation. Right now, all right. George Limbacher back uh, with, with Ed Sullivan here at, at Brookwood Field. It is uh, third down and about 11 yards to go. Uh, what, what Valwood is doing right now seems to be working. Uh, the, uh, apparently there's a number of injuries uh, number number 24 is uh, coming off the field. Their quarterback, uh, number 24, Matson Dunaway, and his replacement is Tom Johnson, who is a junior. Uh, also, 99, looks like he may have a, a leg injury, knee injury. That's Mark Rowland. He was, he was injured earlier, and it looks like this injury could be pretty rough. Uh, a number of players have gone down for Brookwood tonight. Uh, and this will this will be the third one. Valwood has been playing very well defensively the second half. Uh, apparently, uh, David Williams, the defensive coordinator, and and Elson Ballar have uh, shored up things on that Valwood defense. It's now third down and eleven. You've got a new quarterback in there and uh, apparently a, uh, uh, a new offensive lineman. The quarterback is back to pass. He's being smothered. There's a flag on the play. Jeff Hall intercepted the pass down around the 30, but there is a flag. There is a flag. Let's see what the, what the flag is. Jeff Hall did intercept. It looks like the penalty is going to be against Brookwood. And uh, apparently the Valwood 
the Valwood captains are going to decline this when they are discussing it with uh, Anthony James for the Valiants uh, and also Don Faircloth down there. They are giving him an option, so apparently this, this penalty is going to go against Brookwood, and I believe Valwood will decline it. Come on, boys, decline the penalty. Tell you what to do. We want the ball. All right. I'm not asking Mr. Lundbarger right now, and then he's going to tell me. What? He said what to tell the coaches. I'd, I would tell him to take the, take the play. Illegal motion declined. First down, Valwood at the 28-yard line of Brookwood. This puts Valwood in a very comfortable position if they can put this ball across. Jeff Hall to your far side, Bucky Davis to the near side. It is uh, first and 10. Rusty Byington is your quarterback with Maury Copeland uh, running back. Byington goes straight ahead on a quarterback keeper and, and quarterback breaks about, 12, uh, about four or five yards down to, it looks like, about the Brookwood 24. It'll be second down and looks like about a long five for Valwood, maybe even six. Uh, 11 minutes left to go in the clock. Byington brings him up. You've got uh, Jeff Hall and Bucky Davis as your wide receivers to the far side. Maury Copeland, your running back, is, is in motion. Quarterback back to pass, Byington, and his arm, I believe his arm was in motion. His arm was in motion. Uh, so I believe the play is going to be dead. It looks like another uh, Brookwood player could possibly be injured on that play. It's going to be third down now and about 11 yards, 12 yards for Valwood. Come on, boys. We need a big play here. Jack Broomberg in with a play. Jeff Hall comes to the near side. Bucky Davis to the far side. Byington's your quarterback. Copeland. Copeland gets the handoff, and he's going to be stopped right about the line of scrimmage. It's going to be around the 30. It's going to be fourth down and about 11 yards to go for Valwood. We need to, we need to reach into our bag of tricks and pull something out here, boys. Tackle by several Brookwood players. Brad Glosson in with a play. 9.28, 9 9.27 clock ticking down fourth quarter fourth down and 11 to go for the Valiants Rusty Byington is the quarterback and it looks like they took too much time too much time for Valwood that'll cost them another five yards Five yard penalty brings the ball back to the 34, be fourth down and 16. Now fourth and 16. Fourth and 16 for Valwood and Byington is now back to punt. Byington is going to punt. And let's see if they can get the ball before it goes in. Uh, ball goes into the end zone. For a touchback, it'll be brought out to the 20. First and 10. Back at Brookwood Field with 8.44 left on the clock. It's first and 10 for Brookwood. Uh, some of the players that were injured are back on the field now. The quarterback's back, and also uh, number 99 is back. Uh, it's first down, and the handoff is to number 23, and he just breaks right through the line. He's going to be stopped by number 40. Jamie McLean. And boy, just when everything was looked like it was going good for the Valiants, everything is starting to go back the other way now. Come on, boys, we got to make some things happen. First and ten, Brookwood on the four, balls on the 46. Uh, 
Ball is handed off to number 23 again, and uh, Kevin Vick, Vick up to breaks up line, to about the 50-yard line for about Jamie four McClain. yards. It's going to be second and six, tackled by Jamie McLean. Ball rests right on the 50-yard line. Eight minutes left in the game. Looks like an official's timeout for an equipment change. Time is now back in. This looks like it may be one of these cliffhangers. Ball is given off again to number 23 and he stopped, uh, picks up maybe about two yards. It's gonna be third in about three. Be about third and three from the 47 yard line of Val, Valwood. Be third down. Come on, defense, hold them. It looks like a busted play, but the quarterback's rolling out. Can he get stopped? Ah, uh, he makes the first down. No, he didn't either. Number 24, I can't Madison tell. Way gets the first down. I couldn't tell from here, but it appears that he did make the first down. First and 10 for Brookwood from the, looks like about the Valwood first and 10, 43. Come on, defense, let's hold him now. Not much time left. Full house backfield. And uh, it looked like one of the linemen left early and he did. So this play is gonna be called back even though number 30 is gaining a, a lot of yardage. This play is gonna come back. There is a flag on the play, and uh, it is illegal motion for the offense. This will, this will go against Brookwood. There's a penalty flag down. Referee discussing the options with Anthony James, Valwood co-captain. And Anthony is elected to take the penalty. It'll be five yards for illegal motion. Penalty against Brookwood, offsides. First and 15 for Brookwood from the Valwood 40, about the 47. Ball brought back to the 47. It'll be first down and 15 to go. Come on, defense. Ball is handed off to number two. Number two, Luke Carver carries the ball. He picks up about 12 yards. Tackle by number 21, Stacy Brogdon. Second down and about three, a tackle by Stacy Brogdon. No, it looks like it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be about two yards. Brooke was just eating it up on the ground. On the 34 yard line. That was gonna have to make something happen if they're gonna pull this one out. Well, the running back was stopped in the backfield. Vic was stopped, but he apparently picked up the first down. Tackle by number 10, Danny Swaley. Swilly on the First stop, down. Danny Swilly. Ball on the 26. First and 10, the ball is on the 26. We have an official timeout for it. Timeout on the field. Oh. Time back in, uh, 5.34 left on the clock. And uh, it's first and 10 from the Valwood 27 for Brookwood. 
come out in a broken bone. Looks like an eye formation. Quarterback gives it to on an end around, and Stacy Brogdon is there, and he tackles the, the running back there for about a, looks like about a seven yard loss. Number Good play, Stacy. Stacy Brogdon's been all over that defensive backfield and all over the offensive backfield tonight, Tackle too. Number 21, Stacy Brogdon for the loss. Be second down and 14. Second and looks like about 15 from second here. 15, ball on the 32. Brookwood comes out in the I formation again with a uh, two wide receivers. Ball is handed off to number 23, uh, Vic, and he gets maybe a couple yards. Carrying the ball, number 23, Kevin Vic. It's gonna be third down and approximately 12 yards to go for Brookwood. 4.18 left on the clock and it's counting down. Valwood's going to have to get something going. Going to have to stop this Third drive and get something going. 29. Third and 12 from the 29 of Valwood. I formation with uh, split wide receivers. Quarterback is back to pass. And it's deflected and almost intercepted by Jeff Hall. Also, Anthony James and Jack Broomberg in on the play. It's going to be fourth down now and 12 yards to go. That stops the clock with 3.47 left on the clock. And Brookwood calls timeout with timeout on the field. Score, Brookwood 16, Valwood 13. Back at Brookwood uh, with 3.47 left in the fourth quarter. Score, Brookwood 16, Valwood 13. Brookwood has the ball on the... 29 yard line it's fourth down and 12 and you know Brookwood's going to go for it uh, this is a must for Valwood they're going to have to stop this play if they want to win this ball game quarterback is back to pass as expected Bernie Ratliff is going after and he, he throws the ball it is knocked out of bounds by Jeff Hall the ball will go over to Valwood it'll be first and 10 for the Valiants and this will be it right here Valwood is definitely going to have to go all the way and score to win this ball game Minute and a half left in the game, Central 27, Thomasville 6. It's first and 10 for Valwood at the their own 29-yard line. We are getting totally attacked by bugs up here in this in this booth. This is the worst, the worst ball game I've ever done as far as being attacked by bugs. Byington is your quarterback. Copeland is, is your running back. Byington back to pass. And he hits Hall, looks like that's Hall. Yes, it is Hall for a first down and Hall is out of bounds. It is uh, first to 10. It looks like the ball is, is a, on about the 40 yard line. First and 10 for Valwood with uh, 320, 321. I thought, thought that Hall was out of bounds and they started the clock. We uh, ate up approximately three seconds on that clock. No, apparently he won now because they're signaling the clock to go. So we need to hurry up and, and let's let's get this ball down and score. Byington is the quarterback. Copeland and Faircloth, your running backs. Ball is is, is a, a mix up in the backfield as the ball was snapped over in and around and through Rusty Byington. Copeland picked up the ball and gained about two yards on a busted play. It's uh, Second down and nine for Valwood. And number 82, who goes from uh, looks like about the 40 yard line. Come on, boys, we don't need plays like that. Let's move it. Byington, your quarterback. Back to pass. It's incomplete, intended for Bucky Davis. Byington's pass incomplete. Third down and nine. Bucky Davis. I've got bugs all in and under and around. There are bugs on the camera. Ed Sullivan's got bugs all over him. This is the buggiest place I've ever been to. 
third and ten, third and about nine for Val Wood. Pitch back to Copeland. Copeland goes. He's got he's got the first down. Number he's got the first Lord down. The down to uh, around the looks like the 50 yard line and and out of bounds. Tackle by number 35, Cullen Harvard. Looks like it's enough for a first, first down. And first and ten for the Valiants with 2.21 left on the clock. When Valwood has to, they're, they're going to go to Maury Copeland. There's no doubt about that. When, er when everything else fails, it's give, it, give the ball to Copeland. It's first and 10 right on the 50-yard line. 2.21 left. Byington, your quarterback. Back to pass. And it's Jeff Hall caught the ball. Yes, he did. Yes, he did catch that ball. It's over there on the far side. It was hard to see, but you could tell tell that he caught that ball for about a 12-yard gain. It's first and 10 from the Brookwood 38, and Valwood is now driving. Number 20, Jeff Hall. On the Valwood lines up quickly uh, for another play. Byington, the quarterback. Pitches the ball back to Copeland. It's Maury Copeland. Gets about Number 41, six Maury yards. I, it looks like there might be a flag on the play over there. I can't tell. They may have tackled him out of bounds. Yeah, flag on the flag. Maybe, maybe uh, unsportsmanlike conduct over there. I can't tell it from here. The tackle was by number 81, Russell Brown. Brookwood is retreating. It is a face mask violation. Uh, we don't know what the extent of the penalty will be, but it is a face mask violation. <clears throat> this is a long one. This is a 15-yarder. My friends, this is a 15-yard penalty, so that was a flagrant face mask violation by Brookwood. It puts the ball down on the on the Brookwood 20 and Valwood is now driving. Clock stands at two minutes and eight seconds in the fourth quarter. Rusty Byington's your quarterback. And there's a flag on the play. Whoever was over there on the right end, Jack Broomberg, I believe that's who it was, was in motion and uh, stepped across the line the before, the, before the ball was snapped. For Valwood on the 25, we can't allow mistakes like that on this drive. Come on, boys. Rusty Byington's the quarterback, hands the ball off to Don Faircloth, and Don gets nothing, gets absolutely nothing. Taking a loss on play number 11, Don Faircloth. <laughs> Second down and about 20 now, no, about 18, no, maybe 18-yard no, 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 line and 17. Byington, the quarterback, Hall over here on the near side. Pitch back to Copeland. Boy, I bet you Maury is tired, and he gets maybe about three yards, and that's it. It's gonna, it'll now be third down. Third down, and Valwood calls timeout. Third down and about 15. The situation is third and 15 from the Brookwood 26 yard line. About third and 16. Valwood needs to get that ball down to about the 10 yard line for a first down. Rusty Byington quarterback pitches the ball back, fakes a pitch to Copeland. Byington is going around and he gets down to about the, Number two, Rusty looks Byington like about the, the 15 yard line. And I don't know what's going to happen now. Boy, they've got a big decision here for a field goal. It's timeout. Fourth and six. Coach Ford is coming in at Pierce. All right, go ahead and put it on. Coach Ford out in the game right here. If uh, we can we can pick up six yards, uh, 
Bellwood will have a first down on, a, on around the 10-yard line. Uh, I would suspect that they're going to go to Copeland uh, or either a pass or something to Copeland. I'm sure that uh, Coach Fort knows exactly what he wants to do. Uh, win, lose, or draw, Valwood has played an exceptional game. This has been a tough, very tough Brookwood team, and, and Valwood's got an awful lot to be proud of. Every boy on this 16-yard line. Byington pitches the ball to Maury Copeland. Copeland around the end. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. Ball will go over. Ball will go over to Brookwood. Number 41, Maury Copeland carries the ball. As Brookwood takes over on downs. It'll be first and 10. On 17, quarterback is hands off and uh, met right there. Uh, Valwood immediately calls timeout. I don't know how many timeouts Valwood's got left. Uh, I've just been informed that that is the last one. Number 23, Kevin so, Bean carries uh, the ball. For a one-yard gain, be second down and nine. Second and nine for Brookwood with 47 seconds left on the clock. Second down and nine for Brookwood. 47 seconds left on the clock. Ball is at their own 18 yard line and the clock will, looks like it's gonna slowly dwindle down. It's gonna take a miracle if Valwood's gonna win this one, I'll tell you. Quarterback takes the snap and falls on the ball. We've got 40 seconds left, and Valwood is out of timeouts. There'll be no gain on the play. It'll be third down and nine, ball on the 18. Valwood has fought a hard football game, only to come up on uh, the short end of a of a big big ball game. And even though for a fine effort from everybody, two, one, game is over. Brookwood wins 16-13. This is George Limbacher with Ed Sullivan and Charlie Sullivan bringing you Valwood football. 